friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a trash or treasure video and I know it's been so, 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 so long since I've done one of these. Literally it's probably been maybe eight or nine months. I used to do these all the time but then I kind of just... I don't know I feel like it was kind of like a phase but you guys really seem to like it and you guys have been requesting that I bring them back so today's trash or treasure is gonna be on Anastasia Beverly Hills new highlighters I am so excited to talk to you guys about these honestly I figure the best way to bring back trash or treasure is with a product like the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters so if you guys want to know what I think about the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters Let's just jump into it. So the first thing I like to start off with in these Trash or Treasure videos is just a brief description of what the product that we're talking about actually is. So these are the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminators and they are just highlighters, they're powder highlighters for the skin just to make you glow and look more youthful and you usually put highlighter, I'm pretty sure you guys all know but I'm just gonna say it just in case. You usually put highlighters right on your cheekbones and down the bridge of your nose. Any place that you want to be illuminated or brought forward, it does make you look a lot more healthy and youthful and glowy. Just to read off AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com, it says, Like a filter for your complexion, this brush-on highlighter contains a mosaic of brightening powders that impart a lit from within glow. The mirrored compact makes on-the-go touch-ups easy and fail-safe. So basically just a reiteration of what I just said, but of course they made it sound way nicer than I did. <laughs> so now of course, how much does this product cost? Each one of these is going to cost you $28, so in US. In each of the highlighters you actually get 9 grams or .32 ounces, and if you look at the actual compact, it does look like you get a significant amount, and I think this is a lot more than some of the other highlighters that we're used to seeing. So I did just grab a couple of more well-known highlighters to compare how much each one comes with. So this one is by ColourPop. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek and this one you get 4.2 grams which is less than half of what you would get in the other highlighter. In the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. Then I also have a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector here. This one comes with 8 grams which is still 1 gram less than the Anastasia one. And the ColourPop ones are $8. This um, Becca one is $30, $38 I believe. I also have a Bobbi Brown, this is a highlighter, it was limited edition, but it's the same size as a shimmer brick, and it is 8 grams as well, so, and I think this is $44, so a lot more pricey. Then this is the ever so popular Whisper of Guilt by MAC, and this one actually comes with 9 grams, which is the exact same, but I believe this one is, well, I mean, if you buy it on eBay, it's infinity dollars, but if you bought it... During the collection, I believe it was $30, and when you buy a mineralized skin finish from MAC, I believe it is $30. And of course, I have the Itty Bitty Highlight over here. This is Gilded Honey by Laura Geller, and this one is only 4.5 grams, so exactly half of the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, and I believe this one is the exact same price. So you can see that when you hear $28 for a highlighter, you're kind of put off a little bit, but... Considering that it pretty much has the most amount of product than any of the other highlighters, it's kind of a steal in my opinion. I believe the price is totally worth it. You can purchase these at AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com and you can purchase these from Macy's.com. I actually purchased mine from Macy's.com when they launched. They are going to be in Macy's Impulse stores only. And I don't know the exact date of that, but I will link that information down below. So now, what about the packaging? Because packaging could be a deal breaker for some people. For me personally, it's not a big deal. But I know a lot of people really care about the packaging. And I have to say the packaging for these, I am in love with. So let me show you guys. I'm zooming in. So this is what one of them looks like on the front. It's just a very plain black packaging. You can see that it does get fingerprints very easily, which I am not a fan of, but it's not a deal breaker for me. You have the Anastasia Beverly Hills logo right here, and it just says Anastasia Beverly Hills right on the front. Very simple and sleek, and I really love the front of this. If you turn it to the back, it has, again, the Anastasia logo, Anastasia Beverly Hills, written over here again. And this is the shade name, so this is the color Peach Nectar, and it says Illuminator right underneath, just so you know that that's what you're grabbing, the Illuminator. And then, of course, it has how much you get in the product. You get 9 grams, like I 
said and just a whole bunch of other information that nobody ever really looks at but now if we open it up you'll see that you get your highlighter right over here and then you have a mirror right on top i love the added touch of a mirror i really hate it when products don't come with mirrors honestly because i'm always kind of looking for a mirror to get really up close and personal and since this is a compact i think it's so perfect that it comes with a mirror and then here you have your beautiful pattern and i think this is such a good touch that they added. Norvina also posted a video on all of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills products. So I'll link that down below since Norvina is the one who is making it. I mean Norvina, if you guys don't know, Norvina is Anastasia Beverly Hills daughter and she is the one who is pretty much putting all the hard work and effort into making these products for us. So if she's gonna make a video telling you guys, you know, a lot about them, I'm gonna have to trust what she's saying. So I'm gonna link that down below like I said. From a consumer's perspective, I think this is so, so cute. I love that they added this in here. But Norvina also said that the reason they added this in here is not just to look cute, even though it does. They added this in here so that you get the best color payoff when you actually use the product, which is just makes me over the moon happy, honestly. Who doesn't want the most color payoff from their highlighter? I don't know anybody. <laughs> so now that we've talked about the packaging, we've talked about the price, let's talk about the actual product performance. So I am going to show you guys each individual color and the first one since I was just holding it is Peach Nectar. This is what, I guess I should zoom back in, right? <laughs> this is what Peach Nectar looks like on the inside. It is a exactly what you would think. It's a very peachy toned highlight and this is what it looks like right on my middle finger. I'm sorry, I always use my middle finger for these things. But I'm going to swatch it on my hand just so you guys know how it looks. So this is Peach Nectar. It's extremely, it looks a lot like an apricot type color. I'm actually going to read to you guys what the description on AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com is for the specific shade. Peach Nectar, which is right here, is described as a warm rose gold that flatters light skin tones. I honestly think this would flatter every single skin tone. Every single skin tone I think can wear this because it is so blendable and when you stick your finger in here to swatch it or you stick your brush, you can feel just how smooth and like buttery the actual product is. This is the color Starlight and you can see that I I mean I dug my brush in there quite quite a bit and you can see that that pattern is still perfectly intact and I just I mean I never want this pattern to go away. I don't think anyone does. So this one is much more of an icy highlight, whereas Peach Nectar has a lot of rosy and peach tones to it. This one is extremely silver in shade. You can see it's much more stark white than Peach Nectar. This is the one that I am wearing on my face today, and it does not look like this on my skin. Once you blend it out, you have no problems with it, no matter what your skin tone is. The next one that I want to show you guys is the first one that I've ever, ever tried and I absolutely fell in love with it when I first used it. This is the color Riviera. To me, looking at this, it reminds me a lot of MAC's Superb Extra Dimension Skin Finish. If you guys remember, that came out with Whisper of Guilt and it's very similar to this in shade and so I'm so happy that this is available. And I didn't mention this in the beginning, but these are permanent. Norvina said that they are going to be permanent unless they don't sell, which I honestly don't see how they could not sell. So Riviera is described as a sun-kissed coppery hue that flatters medium to tan skin tones. And I honestly don't see any copper in this shade. I'm a little bit confused as to where copper came from in here. But this to me just looks like a rosy silver shade. So this is a swatch of Riviera right here. You can see it is very silver because it is a little bit more similar to Starlight than it is to Peach and Nectar. But it just has a slight rosy hint to it. And so that's why I think it's more suitable for medium skin tones. But again, because it does have that silver base to it, it definitely would look so, so beautiful on people of light skin tones as well. And last but not least, of course, I'm sure this is everybody's favorite. This is the color So Hollywood. And this one is that gold shade that I was talking about before. I have seen a lot of swatches of this one compared to like Laura Geller's... Um, Gilded Honey, <laughs> why couldn't I think of that name? And Mac Whisper of Guilt and Estee Lauder Heat Wave. And I've seen that it's extremely similar to those. So thank the Lord that we now have a permanent one that is similar to those. That's not tiny, like Laura Geller one. 
and it's described as a shimmery bronze hue that flatters deeper skin tones and I actually really do agree with that. It is very cold cold tone gold tone in shade it is very gold toned and it's much more of a yellow gold as opposed to a white gold in my opinion that's the only reason that i think it would flatter darker skin tones but again it is super bright so i feel like even lighter skin tones can get away with it honestly i think every single one of these all skin tones can get away with them because they are so smooth and pigmented and you can really just do do whatever you want to do with them. So the brush that I tend to use with these highlighters is by Morphe. This is the Morphe M501 and this brush I just love because I feel like it gets exactly where you want the highlighter to be and I just I think it fits perfectly in here and it's fluffy enough that it blends it out but it's dense enough that it actually places the product as intensely as you want it so I absolutely love this brush I highly recommend this brush to apply these highlighters with I mean I'm sure that any brush that you use will apply them just fine but I have been having a lot of good luck with this one in particular so now that we've gone through and discussed pretty much everything there is to know about these highlighters the question really is are they trash or are they treasure and personally this is the greatest treasure that I have personally found this entire year. I love these highlighters so much and honestly I love the color selection. I think they really catered to everybody with this cater with this cater selection. <laughs> with this color selection. If you guys follow me on Snapchat you know that I have been just going crazy over these highlighters because they are so amazing. They are so worth the hype that everybody is just building them up to be. They are incredible, incredible, incredible highlighters. I would recommend these highlighters over any highlighter in the makeup industry any highlighter over the becca shimmering skin perfectors over the bobby brown shimmer bricks over mac whisper of guilt over any highlighter any highlighter you can think of i would recommend these highlighters over those my favorite like i said is riviera because it does give your cheeks that super wet look but if you're looking for something gold tone of course you have so hollywood if you're looking for something a little bit more stark you have starlight you have peach nectar which looks a lot like apricot by bobby brown by the way which is also discontinued so i just feel like they did such an incredible job with the shade range with the formula with everything i love everything about these highlighters and I would highly suggest you get them so of course they are a treasure <laughs> so that is it for this video guys thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you learned something I hope I helped you make a decision on whether or not you wanted to go pick up these highlighters or which colors you wanted don't forget to thumbs up this video if you did like it don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already don't forget to follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter all the information will be linked down below as well as everything on my face today and everything that we spoke about let me know in the comments section if you guys are thinking about picking these up or you were looking at them or there's a specific shade that you were eyeing just let me know in the comments and we can I guess interact that way I really love to interact with you guys so don't forget to comment down below and I think that's all I have to say so I'll see you guys in my next video bye